Now you probably heard that there are a lot of companies out there hiring ethical hackers. Now you probably also heard that there are certificates you can get for ethical hacking. Now you wanna get on this bandwagon, but you don't have a lot of money. Now in this video, we're gonna create the cheapest ethical hacking setup you could possibly ever create. Now join me for this ride. All right guys, so these are all the parts we're gonna use right here. We got our wireless keyboard and mouse. This is from Insignia, I think it's like $15. We're gonna use this Raspberry Pi 3 right here. That's the Raspberry Pi. Isn't it sexy? Right down here we also need this. This is the TP-Link model L WN722N. This thing is going to allow us to find all the wireless access point. This thing is a beast. This thing is only $15. So this entire setup here is a little bit over $50, maybe 60 bucks total. That's all you really need to start ethical hacking. And we're gonna use something called Kali Linux. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up Kali Linux and use all its tools. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started with installing Kali Linux on our Raspberry Pi 3. As you guys can tell, I got my Goku swagged out shirt right here, and let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna need to do, open up a browser. I have three links open up here. I'm gonna leave a link to each one of these three links in the description if you guys are interested. The first link is this one right here. This one shows you how to install Kali Linux on a Raspberry Pi. It's docs.kali.org forward slash Kali hyphen on hyphen arm forward slash install hyphen Kali hyphen Linux hyphen arm hyphen raspberry hyphen pi. The link will be in the description and it shows you step by step what you need to do. Right here, this is the download page. If you click on this, it opens up the download page and I'm gonna close it because I have it opened up right here. I'll leave a link to this as well. This is the download page. When you reach this page, you wanna click on Raspberry Pi Foundation and, and this will pop up and we want the uh, Raspberry Pi two or three. Click on this, then the download should start. I'm gonna stop mine. I already downloaded the image. So once you finish downloading the image, the next step is to find the image and extract it. So mine is in downloads, right? And I already extracted it. This is what the file looks like when you first download it. Now, if you don't have anything to extract files, go to um, WinRAR, that's W-I-N-R-A-R, download that. Once you see this file, you double click it and we're going to extract it. Let me close this, we're going to extract it. Again, I'm using WinRAR, that's W-I-N-R-A-R. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description as well. I'm gonna extract it to the same file. So I, I already did mine. Now extract it to where you ever want it to go. You have to remember where it is. Click on extract to, uh, pick a directory. I already did mine, so I'm just gonna close it. Extract it. Once you finish extracting the file, now we're gonna move on to the next step. The next step is to uh, navigate to this URL. It's Win32 uh, Disk Imager. So it's sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash Win32 Disk Imager. Link will, will be in the description. Click on downloads. And as you can see on the bottom, the download has started. Starting to download the file. Once it's finished downloading, just install it. So once you finish installing Win32 Disk Imager, now we, we want to uh, put our SD card into our SD card reader. This is the SD card that we're going to flash with uh, Kali Linux, right? So uh, make sure you connect it to your micro SD card reader. Then we're gonna open up Win32 Disk Imager. We just downloaded it. Now the first thing you wanna do is click on this right here, this little folder icon, click on it. And now we're gonna find the image. Mine is in downloads. Navigate to wherever you extracted your image file. This is the image file, Kali hyphen Linux, and it ends with dot image. Click on it, click on open. Now we wanna select our device. What, what, what drive letter is your SD card? Mine is G. So. Then we're gonna hit right, then I'm gonna click on yes. Now it's gonna take a little while to finish extracting. Once it's finished extracting, I'm gonna come right back. All right, so once it's finished, you're gonna click on okay. You're gonna take that micro SD card, plug it in the back of your Raspberry Pi, and we're gonna move on to the next step. All right guys, so I connected everything right now. As you can see, I got the wireless mouse and keyboard right here. Now this right here, if you guys are wondering, this is the Crow Pi. Crow Pi was nice enough to send me this out for review. It's a Kickstarter, I think they're selling them now. They're like 220 or $230 US. I freaking love it. Now this you don't need for this build. I threw this in because I think it looks cool and uh, it's like my uh, Raspberry Pi workstation. I use it for everything basically. It's, it's got a touchscreen monitor. It's got a power base. It's got everything that I, I need. Now you guys don't need this. If you guys want it, you could get it. I'll leave a link in the description. All you really need is the Raspberry Pi right here, which I got. You're gonna need this wireless adapter. You're gonna need a mouse and keyboard and you're gonna need internet. That's all you guys really need. This is the Raspberry Pi. I got the HDMI connected to the Raspberry Pi. I got the internet connected to the Raspberry Pi. I got this wireless adapter connected to the Raspberry Pi. I got the wireless keyboard and mouse connected. All I have to do is turn it on and we are ready to go. So one, two, three, 
And okay, so Kali Linux loaded in the background. As you can see, it's asking for a username and password. Now the username is root and the password is Tor. So type in R O O T, hit enter, and type in T O O R, hit enter. Now it should load up the graphical user interface. Welcome to the first start of panel. I'm gonna use the default config here. Click on uh, use default config right here. All right guys, so this is the Kali Linux GUI. The first thing we're gonna need to do right here is go to applications. You're gonna notice that there's pretty much nothing installed. We're gonna need to update everything and install all the applications. So click on terminal, terminal. Then we're going to expand this right here. We're gonna type in a few commands. The first command we're gonna type in is apt hyphen get hit space, update, U-P-D-A-T-E. Now, you guys have to have internet connected to the Raspberry Pi for this to work. Now, again, app get update, hit enter. It's updating right now. It should take about a minute to finish. All right, so that's finished. Again, that command was A-P-T hyphen G-E-T space update. Now we got to upgrade. So upgrade, we're going to type in A-P-T hyphen G-E-T app get hit space now upgrade U-P-G-R-A-D-E then hit enter now this one's going to take a really long time this might take like 20 or 30 minutes so right now it's asking us do you want to continue why for yes and for no type Y then hit enter let it run again it's going to take a long time let it finish once it's finished we're going to come right back now we have to expand our partition to do that we're going to get G parted right now we're only using a percentage of our partition I have a 16 gigabyte SD card and I'm only using 6 gigabytes so by the it'll only use a small portion so you can expand the partition I'll show you how to do that now we can install gparted to install gparted type in apt hyphen get space install i n s t a l l space gparted g p a r t e d hit enter it's gonna want us to continue type in yes hit enter all right now we're gonna load gparted to load gparted you have to type in g parted to G P A R T E D hit enter. It'll run the program. So this is the program right here. Now what we want to do is select the first part of the petition. Make sure it's selected. It's already selected by default. Don't select the second part right here. Once you select it, right click it. Then we're going to click resize slash move. Then we want to click on this arrow, hold it, then drag it all the way to the end. Now we're using the full amount of the SD card, which is 16 gigabytes. Click on resize on the bottom. Now one operation is pending. Now all we have to do is click on edit all the way in the bottom. Click on apply all operations operations then click on apply all right the operation is complete we successfully fixed our partition now we are able to use the entire sd card which is 16 gigabytes before we were only allowed to use like six gigabytes of the 16 gigabytes so now we can install a lot more stuff so I'll close this now this is the final step for this video next video i'm gonna show you guys how to use the ethical hacking software and tools we're gonna set some stuff up so this is the last part of this video this is the final thing we have to do we're gonna type in app apt hyphen g e t hit space install i n s t a l l hit space kali k a l i hyphen linux l i n u x hyphen full f u l l. What this is gonna allow us to do is install every like program that Kali Linux has to do with like hacking like program list. So this will take like four or five hours. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit enter. And I'm going to let this run and uh, I'm going to meet you guys in the next video. The next video, again, we're going to actually test things out. We're going to do some hacking. We're going to test some ethical hacking software. Uh, it's asking me to uh, continue. Type in yes, hit enter. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this part. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RaspberryTech.com and thank you guys for watching.